Hello everyone, welcome back to All the Mod 7 to the Skies. Uh, we now have some bees. Bees! Nice. So the way that I did this is you can grow some birch saplings and as long as they've got flowers around them, you've got like a 2% chance for a bee nest. And I got ridiculously lucky, but uh, from the last time I did this, I'm glad I got lucky because that was a right pain last time. Uh, I'm actually going to do something a bit mean to the bees. And that is block them in like that. Ooh. Right, there we go. I kind of wish I didn't do it in dirt right there, but it is fine. This is the cool part about having such a like massive base like this. Is that you can build these massive things like this and then you can get rid of them whenever. So if I'm thinking about this rightly, or rightly, correctly, they should be able to only come out the front, meaning they are blocked in right there. Uh, I'm going to use some, use an exchanging gadget and, oh, actually, eh. Chuck all of that away. So yeah, sticks don't have EMC, interesting. Right, exchanging gadget uh, and some glass. We take some glass and plunk one down. Oh, poop. Oh, of course, now they all come out. Uh, let me do that. There you go, you can all feed off that one for now. I'll go get a couple more just because. Poppy. Two of those. Come on over here, please. I mean, I should probably breed these, shouldn't I? Just thinking about it. There we go. So the whole plan is, uh, if I do this and this, and then when they are done over here, they'll pop back in there. Like this one should come and try and feed right here. Or pollinate, not feed. Go on, in you go. Doesn't look like it's got any honey in it right now. So one of them went in. There's the other one. You can stick that in there. Why did that? Can I make? No, I need the honey treats to make the. Uh, that be. I need honey itself, just plain old honey. Why are you there? Okay, it is fine. That's kind of what I wanted to happen. There you go. So, all the bees are trapped now in that one block area. Uh, they shouldn't start cramming, but if they do, whoops. Stick those away for now. Um, I set this thing up over here. So I made a energy condenser. Oh, I was trying to make one in it. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, there we go. Did it just disappear? Excellent. And I've got a thing full of cobblestone. Amazing. Uh, yeah, it, what I'm trying to do there is the, the highest thing I can, which is netherite. And this isn't quick enough to like compress that down. So I'll need the second tier of this, which does require some red matter. So we're not quite there yet. Um, I don't remember if this is the one that has the scraper. No. So do we need a, we need a dispenser.
dispenser, one of these bad boys. Is it a dispenser? I always forget how this works, but I think it's a dispenser. Like that bad boy. And then a timer, so I should have a timer. And some shears. And then all we do is, oh, yeah, we don't have the, the mod in this. So we've got some of this. Do one of those and then stick some shears in there. I think I can do it like this. Far too quick. You don't want it to be set to that quick. Okay, right, so let's do every three seconds. There you go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Click. There you go. Anyway, we got some honeycomb. We can use this to make honey treats. these ones. We do need to get some honey bottles as well, so I'll grab a couple of bottles. So we need to wait for this basically until it's like done, but that's like a simple way to do it. And in fact with these ones I might make some bee houses. Beehives, sorry beehives. You you guys remember what, I always say beehives. Uh, do I have a vacuumulator as well? Vacuumulator. Almost got a vacuum layer right there. Just need some glass on hand. And what I can have is just stick it there. And that should just like snap up any honey that comes out of there. Let's stick a few bits away. So with the beehive, you can make advanced beehives, which is what we'll go for next. What's the one that looks the most modern? Okay, quite possibly it's the dark oak. So I am going to, I wonder if I can use, you can, ah, uh, okay. Uh, does it work on just plain old logs? Uh, I don't have it on me. Let's grab the philosopher's stone. I wonder if I can do a spruce. And of course, you're like the last one in the line. Fingers crossed that's enough. I think it, it should be enough. Uh, dark oak, yeah, we can at least get a little bit of this. So we do need some more honey. We also need a campfire, which we can easily make. And what's it gonna put in there? It's gonna use my karma. Oh, fair enough. Must like detect it as shears. This hasn't done anything yet because the bees are still doing bee things. So I've got to wait for this a little bit right now. I wonder if I can just nab this. There you go. Very compact. You can even use trapdoors here. I did that in one of my previous, I think my E6E series I had trapdoors. So you just need four trapdoors and a bit of dirt and, oh, that was, okay, that was only two of them. Okay, cool, right, anyway. So we're gonna crack on with bees today just to get them started pretty much. Uh, I'm not gonna do everything with bees. We will also, 
maybe start something else that's on the all the mods start. So unobtainium was the thing that we were going to do last episode and then I never actually did it. So that is making a builder. It's just a classic old builder. Vehicle builder, nice. Uh, we should have enough to do this. Let me set my auto crafts back up at some point. Uh, so now we infuse the builder. R F tools. We need one of these machine infuser thingies. And dimensional shard ore. Grab a bunch of that. For now, we can literally just stick it on our power source right here. Stick that in there, and it will slowly infuse it. Uh, we might not get there with one stack, but we might get there with two stacks. I think that's how it works. Maybe more. But what this does is this block quarries area. Uh, infusing bonus reduces the power consumption and cr increases the speed, so it's rapid. It's not as quick, I don't think, as the um, chunk destroyer from the quarry mod that's in the main. All the mods to the start? No. All the mods, but it's pretty close. I think. I think somebody did some sort of work to figure that out at some point. There's a comment. Oh, actually, no. I was going to figure that one out anyway. But we'll see how quick it is. And uh, it looks like a stack does twenty-five percent of the infuse. So that's pretty good to know. But I think this is going to be pretty pretty rapid. We still need to... Well, I'll grab one of these for now and I'll make myself another ender chest. And also, it's weird that they've gone with ender storage now instead of the other one with the weird tanks. And uh, Yeah, I like these ones because they've got like the ability to input-output directly on the tanks and I don't know it, I prefer it for some reason uh, obsidian and what else is needed for this ender pearls yeah why not grab one of those so this is now 100% sweet. So this right here is how we're gonna do everything. Yes. Although we don't have a draw for everything here. So we need, whatever we, uh, like mine, needs a draw. Ah, oh, no, you're kidding me. We don't have like the main pieces. As in, uh, the pieces come into here, which somebody mentioned, that's a dumb idea. And I think it is a very dumb idea. I don't know why I'm doing this, but what they said you could do is, I could have just hooked this up to over here. So I can even do that now, where I like link it all the way around to this. And then these will feed just the ore pieces over to this, and then maybe on this end we have the netherite furnace going into the ender chest. Yeah, I think that's how we could do it. So if I move that there, yes. Okay, I'm gonna do this now actually, because why the heck not? So I'll break that. Rid of one of those as well. I mean, we leave these like that, but stick that there with input on that side and back. No, just input on that side. 
need to turn this like that. Some energy cables. And then this goes here. Output to the back, auto output. Uh, okay, it's not like, let me do that. So I'm gonna have to change my video settings, go down to Okay, it's not that then. It it oh hello. That was strange. It just didn't let me click it for some reason. Uh, now I can go back into my regular video settings. Why are you not outputting? Output out the back. This is the back, right? You're full. Huh. Excellent. Of course you're full because these are full up on the outside. Um, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this thing. Thank you. So I'm guessing I didn't put any upgrades on those. Okay. Let's grab these upgrades for now. Yeah, why would I put upgrades on these? That doesn't make sense, does it? Because we should be processing them, but we're not currently. <laughs> um, copper. Am I not doing copper as well? I should be doing copper. Ah, you know what it is? I don't think I connected it. I have another one over here. That doesn't make sense. Right, you can come out. I need my linking tool. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. So, one of those, that locks it. Okay, I can at least stick these in like that. Nicely done, right. <laughs> God knows what I'm doing right here. Anyway, so now anything that comes in over here. Okay, that's odd. Platinum is trying to come in up here. Brilliant. So I do need to make another platinum one. I'll just stick it right here to be fair. Uh, In fact, somebody did mention let's just do crafters. I made two regular tier two, no, tier three crafters. I made, yeah, a few of these because we can replace this entire setup with just two of them. So we are going to do that right now. And in fact, that'll make everything a lot easier. So I'm just going to get rid of all of these. Uh, let's pick this up and ignore that for now. There we go. So, first thing is first, all we need is these two. One and two. And then out the front, it's probably a good idea. In fact, we don't need that whatsoever. What we should do is just have it feed from here. So I'm gonna get rid of these two pipes and use the upgraded version, because I can. Everything's gonna go straight in that chest. Amazing, where is my 
this. So now what we can do is have these feed these two things. Like here. And we'll set the filters and everything later. So they'll go into here. This one's filling up as well. Then they'll get crafted up into the bits. I can plot this in the middle and get it to not connect. Like that. Let's grab that out. Oh, I just clicked out, didn't I? Poop. Alright, give me back in. Thank you. Stick that away. Get a flux point on there. Like that. Should be all we need. So you've got a lot more recipes in here, which is something I didn't even think about. But yeah, you've got loads of recipes. These will fill up eventually once the furnace is heated up. Then what we want is it to just go straight into this and it always goes to like the closest first so what we can do is well at least for now if we stick it there it will start feeding into the ender chest and we can get this to pull from each side it's doing the same thing again damn it okay and then push out the front so I'll fix that off camera in a sec. Uh, but what I need to do now is I am going to dump my inventory and then we'll be back. Right, there we go. I have sorted all of these. My power situation is proper weird. I don't exactly know how much power this is taking, but it seems to be quite a lot. So it's a bit unfortunate. Uh, but there we go. We've got everything coming in. Um, I do need to just connect this up and then we should be good. So, that's all the pieces except for cobalt sorted right there. So, if I do that, everything that's not all pieces, because this is like the longer way round, I believe that's how this works. I think it is anyway. Um, we could set something up for cobalt, but you can't smelt it, so it would be a bit of a pain having to pull it out just the cobalt. In fact, I could use one of my... Because there's no use just for the piece, is there? Eh, item one. Come on, there we go. Doesn't look like it. Uh, and the... Oh, you can blast furnace it. That's how you do it. Okay. Well, we we could either do that or we could do one of the fan things. Or you could do crusher and stuff. Okay. Enrichment it. That is for auto smart, but we don't really need that. Right. In that case, I am just going to start voiding cobalt for now. I don't think we need it for too much. And we don't actually need these anymore. These item tunnels. So what I'll do is I'll just lob these back in here. And these. There we go. So it's doing the closest bits it can do first and then it should start sending everything else. That is not full, but we do need a draw for this. Eh. So, compacting draw, cobblestone. This wasn't at all what I meant to start the episode off doing, but, and also I've been away from the chunk, meaning that that hasn't been loaded the entire time. Stone. Thank goodness stone is in here. 
into the compacting drawer and I will stick this I kind of want to stick it over here with the rest of the I just go there and if I remember correctly if you put it in as non nuggets it will try and do the second tier of uh, the blocks so it would do inga block and then two times block or whatever it is we'll do that and then get my linking tool and blocking tool it is locked yeah that should start filling up nicely Let's chuck these away cool okay well that's much simpler than what i had going originally my original one was just me overthinking everything. I, I tend to do that sometimes, so. <laughs> but there we go. Everything should get compressed, except for stuff that we aren't going to do anything with. So if I grab my bag. Ah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. It's a void upgrade, because we're going to need to void. Eventually, we'll start voiding the uh, pieces right here. We can actually get rid of all of these. Uh, like, yeah, get rid of everything here. Oh, that's so much, though. Oh, why do I do this? Fine, I'm going to chuck everything in here for now. We'll come back. I'm going to get all of these all pieces. Uh, yeah, why is there copper? Any other ore pieces that have stuff in them? Doesn't look like it. I think we're good when it comes to ore pieces. And what we can do with this is we can just dump them in the required inventories. So like, actually what we could do is just lob them in here like this. Why is none of this coming out? Is it because there's too much of it? Interesting. I just had a thought as well. We are going to need to automate some mechanism at some point. I, I have like a decent understanding of how to automate it with uh, refined storage. As in, I in refined storage, I always set it up so you can just click and it goes off and makes you like all the ultimate stuff. I'm not exactly sure how to do it with AE, so that's actually quite exciting. I'd, uh, I'd like to watch. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Why is it not pulling out of this one? I, I don't understand. Silly thing. Is this thing filling up or something? It's not full. I don't I don't understand why this one's not pushing over there. This one's this one's just like nah. I'm gonna go over there. Whatever happens. That one's empty. This one's still full up as well for some reason. Is it because I'm really close to these? No idea. We can grab everything out of here and just lob it in here like that. All that flint. And there we go. We get salt from this as well. I think we can use that later to make um, some sodium stuff. Oh, didn't mean to pick this one out. That's fine. Cool. There we go. Right, that, that just neatens that up. Let's see how much honey we've got. This thing should be like automatic. I also wrote, yeah, this isn't chunk loaded. Only three, brilliant. It's very slow. Uh, we can also get some bottles.
Okay, I'll leave that in for now like she is because yeah, that's I forgot that that would be a thing. We can do this thing where we use like a comparator to find out if it's got like enough honey in it. And then it comes around and then it activates the dispenser, but I cannot be asked to set that up right now. I think we just leave it. In fact, I'm going to leave this for a little bit. We are just going to probably AFK here for a bit. Get ourselves a good amount of honey and then we'll start actually on some bees. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to end it there, I think, because I am absolutely cream crackered. I'll never say that again, I swear. I'm knackered, basically. So, yeah, I'm going to call it there for today. We will definitely get into bees next episode. I did say that I would make another one of these, didn't I? Another uh, reactor at some point. I might remove this for now and put this straight on the reactor. Because that's the thing, I think. This can only export a certain amount of power. We'll just stick it on there, just to keep it full up. But Whereas this can extract like more power, meaning that it can power everything quicker. Uh, but I'll try and get another spirited. I, I ripped everything down for my auto crafting, didn't I? So maybe I'll set that back up between episodes. Right, anyway, uh, let's have a look at these stats. I don't actually know if I played that much today. I don't think I did. There we go, so 1.13 days. Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> uh, I will have a, a tutorial st style thing, I don't know what to call it. I'll have a, a thing that will pop up uh, outside my normal release cycle. So I normally release every day at 12 o'clock. Uh, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll try and release one for how I built this. So like grabbing a 3D model from somewhere, putting it through whatever programs and then outspits something that you can use in Minecraft and you can, yeah. It does require you to install world edit and things like that. But once you've installed world edit and copy paste, yeah, you can copy paste this in, for example. Um, that reminds me, I, I said yesterday that I would put my text file for this copy uh, in my Discord and I completely forgot, so I'm going to go do that now. So that should be there by the time this video goes up. Brilliant. Right, anyway, thank you for watching, thanks for joining, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. And we're back in the kitchen, and they've done it! Ah, that looks way better than it did. Obviously, it's still like wet plaster, so we can't do anything to it today. And we're going to have to let it dry. It, you, you can tell when it dries. Um, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know. Because, uh, yeah, we've had other bits plastered, but I'm so glad it's plastered, because it's nice and flat and it'll be easy to paint uh they haven't finished they're actually coming back in a couple of days like there's these bits here i'm gonna do a couple of bits up here but they've done lots of this stuff there was a there was a hole actually right here because when the when the door here opens uh previously there was no like door stop there should be a door stop right here which i'm gonna add eventually uh but what happened is um previously someone would like smash the door and the door would like smash open into the wall and there was a big old like dent in the wall and some of the plasterboard had fallen through so i fixed that yesterday uh as in i put a bit of plasterboard in there but i didn't like smooth it over or anything and then this morning they came in and they were like that's perfect mate and they just plastered all over that I've done this bit as well i've done all the way up there i do there you go. One of those. Um, of course, it's quite messy in here, which is completely fine because, you know, we're not, it's not like this is carpet or anything. If this was carpet, that would be a disaster, but yeah, it's bare floorboards right now. So uh, we can just mop this up later and it should be fine. And uh, we're getting carpet put in on the stairs here. So that is also fine. And if we pop up here, 
Oh, look at that. The, the most impressive thing, I think, is they got this bit done, this bit here. So that's really difficult to get to. I'm not exactly sure how they managed to do that because we were in the office the entire time. So I don't know if I've shown this off yet, but there's the office. Uh, I think I've shown this off. Um, we have got two new chairs coming on, what day is it? Like three or four days from now, two new chairs and our desk will be arriving at that point as well. We're also gonna get a massive rug that goes under this. And uh, I was thinking the other day, why the heck did we just spend this much money on lovely floor and then buy a rug for it? But I suppose you've got the option then. You've got the option to either like have this sort of floor. Oh, also, I forgot about this. The uh, door bar is arriving tomorrow. So I bought that and I'll be fitting that in tomorrow, getting all that nice and nice and put in. And I'm actually gonna fit the door tomorrow as well after work, cause yeah. Um, that also reminds me that I need to do the architrave in here. So I need to do that bit. Cause in here, everything is plastered and it's all good. So yeah, this one should be quite easy to fit in as well. Cause I've, I've got like a point right there for it to go so we're gonna do that tomorrow but yeah we got quite a bit done another thing another quite awesome thing about our plasterers is we pointed this out to them when we said look there's this this like horrible gap that we've got right here and it's quite a big gap as you can see and I said to them look we have no idea how to fix that and the uh, Tyler is being a bit of a, a diva about it so we said to them can you I don't know take a look at it what, what do you reckon you should do if, if you can help and they said don't worry about it we'll fix it for you so they're going to come back on Wednesday and they're going to fix this wall for us so it's not like out of kilter with everything and should be easy to tile but yeah, it's going well. We were supposed to get the sink in today, but because the plasterers were doing all of this, the person that was coming in to do the sink couldn't, like, it, there was too much going on at the same time. So he said, oh, I'll be back another day and I'll come and do that whenever. But we need the sink to be in so they can tile the backsplash area. And this, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but this is for the... Um, mirror that we're going to have in here so there's a mirror with like one of those touch buttons that you touch and then it all lights up so that's what that cable is right there yeah once this is done also need to paint the ceiling and stuff as well but there's a plenty plenty to do oh i'm not sure i've shown this either they put the the radiator in as well so that's pretty awesome and they've also Put the radiator in on this one as well so it's, it's properly like plumbed in and everything now we can get heat out of that it's pretty good pretty good he's done that one as well so yeah decent day very um productive 